What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Rosemary's Baby. Rosemary's Baby is a drama horror film that was written and directed by Roman Polanski and is based on the 1967 novel of the same name written by Ira Levin. I should also mention that this film was requested to me by Cosmo Din on my Almost Famous review that I released back on March 8th. Rosemary's Baby takes place in the mid-1960s and primarily follows Rosemary, a housewife living in a New York City apartment building with her husband Guy. Rosemary and Guy are deeply in love and decide that they want to start a family and eventually Rosemary gets pregnant with their first child. Well before long, Rosemary starts experiencing some bizarre complications with her pregnancy and she also experiences some unusual behavior from her friendly neighbors who seem overly concerned and involved with Rosemary's child that she carries. And the rest of the film is spent watching Rosemary attempt to better deal with and understand her first pregnancy as well as her overly intrusive neighbors. Okay so this was another request that I was looking forward to because while I hadn't seen it before yesterday I knew that it was considered a horror classic by many. I mean I even remember learning about it briefly in one of my history classes in college so obviously it had a resonating impact on popular culture and film even today but especially back then in the late 60s early 70s. I went into Rosemary's Baby with limited knowledge and a basic understanding of the plot but I still found myself really invested throughout almost the entire experience. I actually was pretty surprised at that because sometimes when you go back and watch a really old school film like this, you can see how outdated it is and even silly when you're watching it in 2017. But I never really felt that with Rosemary's Baby because it felt like Roman Polanski did such a marvelous job carefully crafting this film at every single level. There's this building suspense and building tension as you start to become increasingly suspicious of certain characters that Rosemary interacts with and it almost becomes a mystery thriller style film in that way because even even though the film drops you little subtle hints here and there, what actually ends up happening is still is pretty shocking nonetheless. The music composed by Krasistov Komita is absolutely perfect for this film. I haven't seen many scores fit and parallel a movie so perfectly as his work does in Rosemary's Baby. There's something super unsettling about the music, and even when Rosemary is just going about her day, you know that something eerie is looming over and awaiting her in the near future because the music gives you that cue by making you feel very anxious and unsettled. It also helps that Rosemary herself played by Mia Farrow is absolutely amazing in the role. I think this is actually the only time I've ever seen her in anything, but she really wowed me in this movie. I think Rosemary's Baby is a film that simply cannot succeed without a dynamic performance from the actress in the role of Rosemary. And Mia Farrow was obviously the perfect woman for this role because she was likable, she was charming, she was dramatic, and she stole every single scene she was in. This isn't to say there aren't other good performances in this film too, but Mia Farrow is so great in her role that she's easily the most memorable of them all. I think Rosemary is such an easy character to root for because she has a good heart and she's likable, but also because she feels isolated and alone. She has her husband and her neighbors who would seemingly do anything to help her, but as the story progresses, she begins to realize that she doesn't have anyone that she truly trusts, that she feels she can confide in and count on. So simply put, Rosemary is someone you want to see succeed because she often feels like the underdog in her own story. Just to transition though, I gotta say that I really loved how this film was shot. For 1968, this film film looks really really good and there's a lot of beautiful compositions that are really versatile. I always felt like the music, the cinematography, and the acting were perfectly in sync with one another. When things sounded eerie and unsettling, they looked eerie and unsettling. When things sounded happy and hopeful, they looked happy and hopeful. The cinematography in Rosemary's Baby is definitely one of the bright spots because the visual experience helps set the tone and the mood extremely efficiently. To go back to the story real quick, I think Rosemary's Baby is so effective because like its lead actress, it's versatile and it's dynamic. It works as a thriller, it works as a mystery film, and it works at least mildly as a horror film. It's versatile and it's dynamism keeps you guessing at every turn. I think that's pretty rare for a movie to cast such a wide net and actually succeed because generally when films try to be too many things at once, they end up being nothing at all. There's only one thing I didn't like about Rosemary's Baby and it's gonna be a controversial thing because there's obviously meaning behind it, but that's the ending. The ending left me a little underwhelmed because it just disappointed me and left things a little too ambiguous, at least for this story. I totally get why Roman Polanski chose to go with this ending because it does make sense when you think about it and it's not supposed to feel good by any means but it didn't feel like the climax and ending really hit the high they should have. That's just my take. But overall I really enjoyed Rosemary's Baby. It's definitely a classic that you need to watch if you enjoy old school cinema. I thought it had some amazing acting from Mia Farrow, a dynamic versatile and tense story, exceptional music, and great cinematography. The only knock I have on this film is the 
ending, which underwhelmed me just a bit. Regardless, I'm gonna give Rosemary's Baby a 9.5 out of 10, and definitely recommend you check this one out if you're into old school movies. Just a heads up though, it's really more of a mystery drama thriller than horror, but it contains elements of all four. So have you guys seen Rosemary's Baby yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite Roman Polanski film. Likely gonna be this or The Pianist, but hey, we're the discussion still. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.